Hi, I'm Joe Pierce, and I'm going to demonstrate this uh, dynamic radius, uh, what's known as the rotator rollback. Uh, I want to show you a few things about it. Now, I want to first tell you that uh, whenever I loaded my truck here, I did this kind of last minute because of the fact I was wanting to use a forklift. The forklift is tied up in the shop today. We've got a forklift that's uh, a little over 9,600 pounds. I really wanted to use that because that would demonstrate this to perfection. But anyway, we're going to we're going to go with plan B here. I've loaded my, my personal pickup. Now, it is four-wheel drive. It's an F-150, but uh, I know I don't have my stickers on the side of the bed. Those those are gone, but anyway, it is four-wheel drive, and we do have that this thing, uh, this bed tail loaded intentionally. Now, if I was to set the bed up, I'm not going to do that for time uh, purposes right now, but if I were to run the bed up and tilt it all the way up, you would, you would understand what I was talking about. That I've got the bulk of the weight of this truck way out past the rear axle on the roll back here. And I'm doing this for a uh, demonstration purpose here. Now I haven't used my eight point tie down system. Now I guess I really should have taken the time to do that because this this uh, particular bed here, this radius bed, comes standard with over 50 chain tie points. And so it'd be a really good time to, to demonstrate that uh, we have so many different options. It's not like a lot of beds where you've got to tweak a vehicle, just drive, move it up, move it back, and just keep working with it. Get it to where you can uh, utilize your eight-point tie-down system. This one here has so many options up and down the sides of the bed as well as across the front and the back that uh, this isn't a problem with this truck. So what I want to do here, I'm going to show something here real quickly. Uh, a lot of this stuff is common sense, especially if you operate one of the big uh, rotator wreckers. This right here, everything I'm going to tell you, it's going to be something you already know. If you haven't ever operated one, though, this is the new information here. It's be something I, I know would be very beneficial to you. Now, I'm using my Lodar remote here. And that way I can stand here and you can hear me as well as uh, watch me work on this. Uh, one of the basic things we're going to show you in this video, though, the idea is, is watching your load of, uh, and keeping your center of gravity over your bed. And the reason being is it puts less strain on your truck, it puts less strain on your outriggers and your supports, as well as it makes it turn easier. You can, you can handle more weight a lot easier if you keep your center of gravity up. So that's what we're going to work on here. And I'm going to start off, and it's just like any time that you would operate any other rollback, you never want to tilt your bed up with it ran back like this. I've got this one ran almost all the way out, but still I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to tilt it right now. So I'm going to slide it up just like we would any other time. Now I'm going to stop right here. The reason I'm going to stop right here, look how far my front end is and the bulk of my weight. It's still way out past my rear axle. All right, let me switch over here. Let's start rotating, see? This is what I'm explaining here. The reason I did that just then is to prove a point. The bulk of the weight is far enough back it puts a strain on the truck. So what you want to do, bring your center of gravity back up. Now, all right, here we are now with center of gravity back up, closer to the back end of the truck, to the rear axle there, and that's where the turntable is. The turntable is directly above the rear axle of this truck. So that's a really easy focal point there, uh, watching those rear tires to know where you are without having to stop and take a look underneath the bed of the truck. All right, when we got it up this far, we switch gears again. See, we're almost there. Now I'm running on total idle here as well. I'm not running on fast idle. If I was running on fast idle, it'd work a whole lot, a whole lot easier. Of course, you gain some strength when you do that. But we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to show extreme. So here I've got it turned around. Now right here I'm going to stop. The reason I'm going to stop right here. Okay, I've let off the remote. You can see it stopped there. All right, number one. I'm proving that this motor has a positive brake. This, uh, this turntable motor has a, a positive brake. What that means is there's hydraulic pressure applying the brake. As soon as I let off the button to, to rotate the bed, the hydraulic pressure grabs that motor and it stops it. Now, that doesn't mean that it will never ever turn. All right, for instance, here's where I'm talking about. It. If I were to take that winch cable, let's pretend that that truck's off of there for right now, and I were to take that winch cable, and come back to a snatch block on the on the back end of my bed and hook off of that snatch block and come over to either direction off the side of the truck to do like we normally do on, on wreck situations especially. Sometimes we'll do it in parking lots. 
let's say we've got a vehicle that's not going to pull very easily and it's going to give us a lot of drag. And I pulled, I put a snatch block in the back. I come off the side either direction, like I said, and start to winch. Now, as that that force on that vehicle, as it it bites and it doesn't want to to uh, roll freely, what this will do, it'll do just like any of the big rotators. If you've ever operated a big rotator wrecker, you understand what I'm talking about. Now, this truck will, this bed will self-center. And then what I mean by that is, is this bed will gradually work its way back around and it'll put that table in straight line with whatever your your load is, wherever your load is, whether it's off this side or off the other side, that bed will turn around and it will get centered with that load. And once it gets centered with that load, then you you know you can just keep continuing to winch and it will pull it onto the bed. But normally on a rollback like this, I don't know why anybody would really side pull off of it because after all, it does rotate 240 degrees. And I have somebody raise a question about why it doesn't rotate 360 degrees. And I guess it could, but you would probably have to catch a ride home when it did. Uh, you got to take in consideration, you know, I know a lot of people think about uh, comparing this to the big rotator, the rotator wreckers, but the difference here is you can't go over the top of your cab. You've got to stop at some point because, of, you know, with it being the flat bed that it is, that bed has to stop before it gets in the cab. So that's the reason why we have a 240 degree rotation. So anyway, with that said, we're going to bring it back around. And I want to, want to show you here, I'm going to switch, and I'm going to bring it up closer here. And show you that once you get to a point where I had it just a moment ago, it rotates about as easy, easily as from that point on. So bringing it up a little closer may not really help you a whole lot. Once you get to that point where you've got your gravity centered, like it is now, you've got it made then. And this right here, this idea of what I'm, what I'm explaining here, helps to take care of your equipment. Number one, it doesn't put a huge load on your, on your turntable. Uh, anytime you put a load out, and, and like I said before, it doesn't, doesn't matter if it's one of these rotator rollbacks or if it's one of the big boom rotator wreckers like we have. It's the same principle. When you put that load way out past your truck, you're putting a terrible amount of strain on everything on your truck. All the components involved in that to make it rotate have got to take that load. And the further out it gets, the more load it is. It's your, your weight is just multiplying as it goes out, basically. So you want to bring it in, keep it close, and keep it, keep it up in, in the area here where, where we are now. And like I said, you can extend out a little bit further still and be able to rotate fine, and it does a wonderful job. Now, the question's been raised before, like right now, if I was to tilt this bed down right now, I'm, uh, I'm already up in front of my bed box. If I tilt it down and I'm up in front of my bed box, of course, I can't lock my bed down. So the question that was raised, you know, well, what do you do then? Okay, the simple thing to do is go back to the remote, slide your bed back, now you're ready to tilt. But I'm going to take and show one more time, and I'm going to stop. I'm going to hold this remote here to show, again, you see how that bed stopped just then? Just as soon as I let off that button, it stops. Now, I've got it aimed right toward me. That's one of those things we wouldn't advise, but, hey, I trust my equipment. I work with this stuff every day, and I know what it is. But I'm here to prove a point to you that these here are the way to go. When you have a piece of equipment like this, I tell you what, I'm going to bring that back down straight. When you have a piece of equipment like this, using it every day, you can load it all day long like a typical rollback. And there may be days where you don't really need the rotation. But whenever you go into a parking lot, you've got to get one out of one parking spot and the parking lot's full and crowded and everything. We've all been there, we know how it is. That's one of those situations you just dread getting into. And I know for years and years, I had to push them out of parking spots. That was the, the fastest way to get it loaded. And so I would always do that. But now there's days when, when my knees tell me I shouldn't have done that. 
So this idea here makes it so much simpler and so much easier. Just turn the bed around, load the vehicle up, spin it around, set it down, and you're gone. And these things have been built with so many ideas in mind to make sure that everything's set up and ready to go for you. Just like the, the removable rails, if you need that, you've got all those chain tie points we were talking about a minute ago. Eight point tie down system, soft tie down system of any kind. Hey, you're set up for them. You can do anything you want to do with them. Also, there is an available from Dynamic, and Dynamic is the only one that has this. They have what they call a fold down rail system, where whenever you, you need to get the rail out of the way, if you're moving something super wide, where this is the 102 wide bed, even if you're going to go wider than that, well, maybe you need to just hop on what we call hop it over the rail. You know, sometimes we get to where we're coming off at a weird angle and we need to get that rail out of the way for just a second. Instead of having to go through and unpin the rail here and pull it out like we do and then have to find the hole for that rail, the fold down rail, you just turn the pins, it lays down, it tucks under the side, you're good to go. And then whenever you get finished, you can always flip it back up and bend it back up. So that's one option there. Dynamic has a great idea on that as well. These are very neat, clean machines. I like the way it works. I like how it's built. Uh, very strong in the outrigger. Uh, these outriggers on this thing look like something you would see on like a medium duty truck. Uh, like the, the big medium duty wreckers there. So it's, it's built. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, a lot of girth about it. There. And the cross members underneath it. We'll get a shot of that here in just a moment. Uh, I want to get a shot of all the cross members underneath the bed here and show you, uh, this is what they call the six inch center cross members. The cross members are just literally in, in the, from center to center is exactly six inches. And being uh, channel iron like it is, you get a lot more strength of a channel iron alone, let alone the six inches from center to center. So uh, these things uh, got, the, got a really neat approach about going about this. And uh, of course the bed is rated for 12,000 pounds. Uh, when you look at it and how it's built, you know 12,000 pounds would be no problem. The underlift is ready for 4,000 pounds. Uh, we're going to do a video here in just a moment. We're going to pick up a, uh, a medium duty truck, same size. This one with the underlift. Uh, just demonstrate the strength of the underlift. So that's something else there that, that's uh, available there. And another thing on the underlift, you can't see it right now, but that underlift, whenever the underlift is up in, in tow position, the L arms are locked in then, so no one can steal your L arms when your underlift is up. So that's one of those things that uh, if you live in the city, you understand that really easily. And so anyways, uh, there's so many variable options and things that on these trucks. Uh, this truck uh, here, I ordered it with the smooth floor bed. You can get uh, diamond plate floors. We can also, uh, what we're going to do with this one, uh, we're going to put it back in the shop and do uh, a texture. Uh, surface down the side it would be about the, up to the edge of the tires there on this truck on each side to give you kind of a walkway idea where you've got something with some grip so if you need to get up on the bed of the truck and it's it's wet rainy or whatever they give you some traction there so we're going to get that done too in the days to come uh, this particular truck has a uh, sp9000 uh, side puller made by end of the ditch uh, the, Side floor has another Lodar remote similar to this one. Uh, 9,000 pound capacity on it, of course. Uh, this uh, particular winch is a Ramsey 8,000 pound planetary. We can also get it to uh, upgrade at 10 or 12,000 pound planetary there as well. So, uh, 8,000 pound, this one, uh, I'm very satisfied with that, uh, with what we've done with it here. I haven't seen any reason why I really want to go and move up. But uh, that is an option that is available. Also, you can add lights, uh, clearance lights, and, and uh, work lights, and all that sort of thing. If you want uh, anything specific, you can uh, put in a, a request to us, and we can build the suit. And so, anyway, this uh, this is a very neat product, and, and I'm uh, excited to get to work with them. I love working with the folks at Dynamic. Uh, it's very good to be able to go and sit down and talk to them and help them work with. Uh, Designing equipment like this and uh, utilizing our, uh, our experiences uh, to build something that uh, is going to be a great item to go out here and do what we do with every day and what I've done all my life with. So now I'm able to uh, be able to give some input from all these experiences, both my good and my bad experiences, 
to help out with uh, building something that, that will give us something to work with to where we don't have to do things the way we used to whenever it was uh, items and, and things that we've, situations we've gotten into where it needed to be changed. So we've made those changes now. And so I'm well pleased with this. And that's all I have for right now, and we will be posting more videos later. Again, my name is Joe Pierce. I'm with Pierce Truck and Auto. We're in Martin, Tennessee, and we are a dealer for Dynamic, as well as uh, BA products. And uh, we can also, uh, anytime you need parts for in the ditch, uh, we can get those for you as well. And it was great doing this video today, and I hope that everybody can gain something from it. Thank you.